Hi, I'm Carl, and this is questions 109 and 110, the final two questions in the third section of the green booklet. So this is a couple of questions about um, charge and force. And I've drawn out the equation here for Cuban's formula because question 109 says the sphere S will experience a zero net electric force when D2 is equal to what? So in this case, um, it will be when uh, the force from R is equal to the force from T. And so if we draw out the equation, we get an idea of what that means. So we've got this constant on either side, uh, which is going to be the same. And so we'll just leave that out. Um, so we've got our equation here. So let's start off with the uh, numerator of our fraction here. So it's going to be the product of the two um, charges here. So we're going to end up with 2q squared on this side uh, over a distance of d1 squared. And then on the other side, we're going to end up with 6q squared over d2 squared. And now we just need to solve it. So we can cancel off these q's and divide by 2 on both sides and get 1 over d1 squared equals 3 over d2 squared. So if we flip both these fractions over, we get d1 squared equals d2 squared over 3. So 3d1 squared equals d2 squared. So if we square root both sides, uh, we can get root 3 d1 to be the point at which those forces are going to be equal. And that then gives us an answer of c. And then for 110, the final question, we're told that a small metal sphere, um, identical to all the other ones, is carrying a charge of minus 2q. It's brought into contact with r and then s and then t. And after making contact with these three spheres, in that order, the charge on the sphere at the end is what? Um, OK, so let's have a look at what the initial will be. So we're starting off with minus 2. And when we take it into contact with r, we're going to be adding um, q, which is the amount of charge here, which means it's going to be um, minus q charge that's going to be shared between these two. So they're each going to get um, minus q over 2 q ohms of charge. Then when it's taken into contact with s, um, it starts off with this minus q over 2, um, and it's going to be added to this plus 2q, which means they're sharing a charge of um, 3 over 4. No. Sorry, of 1.5q, which is 3 over 2q. And that's going to be spread between both of them. They're both going to have uh, 3 over 4 kilograms of charge then. So then the ball with this amount of charge goes and gets in contact with T, which has plus 3. So we've got 3 over 4 kilograms of charge, um, which is going to be added to the 3 kilograms of charge or sorry, three q kilograms of charge that T has, and that's going to be spread out between the two. So the combined charge they have is going to be 3 over 4 plus um, 12 over 4 q, which is then going to be 15 over 4 q. And that's going to be spread between the two of them, and they're both going to have the same amount of charge, can be spread equally because all of the spheres are identical, uh, meaning that the charge on T at the very end is going to be 15 over 8 q coulombs of charge, which gives us uh, an answer of c. So that was uh, the final two questions on the exam question 109.